Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap, Turtle Power. This week, the turtles take on Armagon. We have Ninja Turtles fighting a giant shark that's inside a giant robot shark that's also a spaceship. This sounds like an Asylum movie. Ninja Turtles vs. Armagon Shark. That's gonna be on the Sci-Fi Channel next week. Ron Perlman as the voice of Armagon. Hellboy is in the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Some of you might remember Armagon from the Archie Ninja Turtles comics, or like me, you might remember him from the Super Nintendo game Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Tournament Fighters, and Armagon was one of the characters that you could pick in the game. Lord Dread calls on Armagon because Armagon in this version of Ninja Turtles is a bounty hunter, so he's calling on Armagon paying him to take the turtles out. Meanwhile, on the spaceship, Fugitoy is testing out April's psychic abilities. He feels like that April could have more potential with the powers that she has. And we finally get the backstory of Fugitoy. We find out that he was Zayton Honeycutt. He was working on different experiments and had the robot that we know now as Fugitoy when the Triceratons came in, demanded that Honeycutt make weapons Honeycutt resistant, so they basically killed him. We see him dead. Wow, Ninja Turtles. Y'all just, y'all just slipping by those Nickelodeon sensors. <laughs> nothing to see here. So his robot companion helps him by taking his brain out of his body, putting it inside of him, making him a robot that still has Honeycutt's mind and making him reborn. <laughs> he has risen. That's right, y'all. Honeycutt was dead. We thought he was gone. But then the robot took the brain out of his body and now he is reborn. Woo! Can I get an Eastman? Can I get a land? Oh my god, I'm going to hell. Once the Triceratons knew that he was still alive, they considered him a fugitive android or a fugitoid. Wordplay. But enough of that story, because Armagon's here and he's attacking the ship. This is a crazy Armagon. Literally, he is a shark inside of a shark. He closes up his robot shark that's over his shark body, and then that can fly around through space. It can chomp things, and it was chomping the ship. So much that Leonardo had to go out by himself to fight Armagon. So cool. Gosh, this show. But when the Armagon proves to be too much for the turtles, they hide out in an abandoned space station, not realizing that that's where Armagon wanted them the entire time. I thought rock. While inside the abandoned space station, they find a lot of suits with no bodies in them except goo inside of the suits, which means that they're dead. And the turtles meet Overmind, an artificial intelligence computer inside of this space station. The space station was being used to make war robots. Armagon sneaks into the ship and turns on the machine to create new war robots for the turtles to fight. And that's when we get the true backstory behind Overmind. Not only is Overmind artificial intelligence who can make raw, 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 raw robots, raw, war bots, raw bots, but he also believes that robots are superior to organic life forms and wants all organisms obsolete. And to start a robot revolution! Ugh. See, I knew it, man. Terminator and iRobot were trying to warn us about these machines. You can't trust machines. Hold up, my iPhone is talking. And I don't understand why people are so fascinated with technology. Oh my God, I got so many likes on Instagram. Ah! And since Overmind doesn't like any organic materials, not only does he attack the turtles and April and Casey, he also attacks Armagon. So now they gotta work together to stop this thing because he's just too crazy. To make matters worse, Fugitoy is a robot, so he starts malfunctioning at first and tells the turtles, stay away from me because I actually have a fusion bomb inside of me that could blow you up. That's a nice thing that you could have told us about yesterday. Overmind uses his technology to take over Fugitoy, turn Fugitoy into the new Overmind, and control all the technology on the ship. Also is planning to control the technology on Fugitoy's ship to start his robot revolution, and capture the turtles, April and Casey, and plans to turn them into robot drones. And then I guess they become stormtroopers after this. I don't know. Talk to Finn. April uses her psychic abilities to talk to the human side of Fugitoid, Honeycutt's brain, to get him out of the trance that he's in by Overmind. Fugitoid breaks free, and then when Overmind is like, no, you mine, Fugitoid's like, oh, remember that fusion bomb that I mentioned a few minutes ago? Foreshadowing, boom! Fugitoid is safe, he's not blown up, but he was able to use his fusion bomb power to destroy Overmind. But we still got a problem. Armagon's still here, and he still wants to capture the turtles because he now has new orders. He originally was supposed to kill them, but Lord Drake called him up and was like, you know what? Bring them in. I think I like to do it myself. Tonight I died on Turtle Sue. So Leo again is like, rest of the turtles, April, Casey, Fugitoid, get back to the ship. I got this shark. 
as a great Leonardo versus Shark fight. <laughs> I was gonna say Sharknado fight. Leonardo versus Sharknado on sci-fi next week. The whole space station starts to explode. Everyone's scared for Leonardo. Leonardo is literally running away from the explosion like he's an 80s action movie star. And good old Raphael was waiting at the edge of the ship, waiting for Leonardo to show up with a rope. Throws the rope at Leonardo, gets him out just in time. The day is saved! Smooth Leonardo! A proximity detector inside a future choice ship goes off, letting them know that they are close to the Triceratons so they can finally start getting pieces of that black hole generator to save Earth. But of course, Armagon, who we think got destroyed, is not destroyed. He shows up at the very end of the episode. We should have a, a, a supercut. Someone should make a supercut of every single time the Turtles defeat a villain and we think the villain is gone and at the very end of the episode it shows up again, followed by that shh when it turns to black and white. They should do a super cut of that. <laughs> That'd be awesome. I love this episode. It had funny moments. It had dramatic moments. It was scary. I got a weird like alien 2001 vibe from it. And I love Armagon. I mean, anytime you get Ron Perlman voicing anything is always good. And to get Ron Perlman voicing a shark, that's really good. And I can't wait to see what happens next week. Oh, wait, no. Half Show Hero special. No, next week. So we'll hopefully get this show back after that. But you know Nickelodeon, so we may find out what happens in February. Let me know what you thought about this episode and what is your favorite piece of technology? Because you might need to watch out for it. It might take over your life. If you're new here, please subscribe. I make new videos every week, including Ninja Turtle recaps. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Addy5000. Chain Chomp. Shark Chomp. Yomp.